Since the start of the pandemic, experts say obesity in children and teens went up. Just one of the many impacts it had on the borderland. Good morning, El Paso's Brianna Chavez is live on the east side. Brianna, I have a question for you. What is this program called and what is it hoping to change? So good morning. Well, the program is called Empower Program. It was started up by the El Paso Children's Hospital after they noticed a need with kids who are not only struggling with their weight, but with type 2 diabetes. It's actually located in their new rehab clinic right behind me. Now, the Children's Hospital has been able to expand the program this year, which is partially funded by the Basel del Norte Health Foundation. The Empower program is geared towards helping kids and teens who either are at risk or already have prediabetes or type 2 diabetes. And these kids have their own personal dietitian and even a social worker to help them come up with their own personalized plan. Now that plan then gets shared with their primary pediatri pediatrician rather, to help keep their goals in check. To help them establish healthy habits and not just by themselves but also within their family um, and make those changes because when children enter the range of prediabetes there's a lot that we can do to push those numbers back before it becomes type 2. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll hear from Quinones about the response that some of the patients have had so far with this program and some of the signs and symptoms that you should be on the lookout for when it comes to type 2 diabetes. Live in East El Paso, Brianna Chavez. Good morning, El Paso.